Hi guys, today we're gonna be making a Hogarth curve arrangement. This is our inspiration picture. We're gonna use slightly different materials, but the same concept goes. So today you're gonna be using a double design dish, which is that plastic container. It's meant to hold a whole brick of floral foam in the horizontal position, but it's gonna be too tall. So we're gonna do two fingers above the container we're gonna make our mark and we're gonna cut the floral foam. Try to get this cut as straight as possible. You'll notice when I cut it that I kind of biff it up a little bit, but you can keep shaving it down until you get that straight edge. All this extra cut material is not large enough to be used by anybody else, so we're gonna throw it away in the trash. Once we have our container situated, this is a one-sided arrangement. So you're gonna be working with only one edge and preferably just sticking with like the two thirds me um, method. We have uh, two main flowers for our two sets of the S curve, the Hogarth curve. We're working with this stock. This is our white stock. I ordered Snapdragons like the picture, but this is what came. It actually lends itself better. It curves a little bit more. So you're gonna start on one end of your container and create your S beginning arc. And then you're gonna use Bells of Ireland on the opposite side to create your opposite arc. In between, you see right here, I'm starting to cut and place some mini carnations. You're also gonna have a couple other greeneries that I'll show you here in a second. The middle really just needs to be filled and be this continuation of your S. So you don't want it too tall or too short. Um, so in my opinion, I kind of skipped ahead. What I should have done was the Bells of Ireland to finish my S before placing stuff in the center. And the other thing you should note here as I'm showing the bells, you're not gonna place this stem on the very edge of the container. We want the flowers to have their line and create the shape. So be aware of that as you're placing it and you do need to place it at quite a bit of an angle. And now, unfortunately, I did not turn the camera around and bring it on the other side. So you're watching from the back, which is gonna be a little bit boring, so I'm gonna speed it up here for in a second, um, but I will turn it around and show you the end results. What I'm working with right now is Salal. Um, the, besides the S curve, what we need to do in this arrangement is also cover and disguise the foam. So Salal is nice for that because it's a pretty broad leaf, and we do wanna extend that coverage to the entirety of our S curve, so we gotta hang off the edge just a little bit placing some more mini carnations to get that continuance of our S curve. More Salal. Remember, this is a good opportunity for me to tell you, um, naked stems in the water, and in this case, floral foam is your water, so you need as naked stem as possible. Right here is some Hypericum berry. We've got green Hypericum berry, also a good filler. It's got the berries, but it also has the leaves. We're just trying to work around and fill the space and still see the S. What's coming here is the Sparangari fern, or I call it Sparangay. Uh, it's very spiky, so I get a couple slivers here in a second. So just be very careful with it. It has some little baby thorns. This is a nice texture element, though, in our arrangement. I think it brings out um, and just kind of has a little bit of fun. So place it wherever you see fit. It is a little bit thin, so you might need to double up in places to have that foam coverage if that's what you're using it for. Uh, another thing to note as we're showing this is that um, as you're placing the stuff in the in-between space for the S, you need to balance it. So what I mean by that is I've got all this mini carnation I have spread it out in that lengthy piece between the S arches. I'm not focusing like all of it on the right and then putting all the Sparingary on the left. I'm evenly spacing it and kind of using it in all places of this arrangement. That way there's not a weird concentration. Plus I think that helps focus the S curve in general because we have the concentration of the top arch and we have the concentration of the bottom arch, but everything else kind of blends nicely because it is so even. Mm -hmm. 
And with the Sparingary, it's pretty long. So what I've done is I'm starting to cut small pieces so I can make the most of it. And I'm covering the bottom of my foam. You'll see here in a second so that when I turn it around in the front, you will not see any of the foam. So overall, our idea for this arrangement was the Hogarth curve, the S curve, being very um, visible, and then the foam coverage or um, camouflaging. Other than that, it's a green and white arrangement. We're getting close to St. Patrick's Day. So just a blend and balance of those colors. And here's my final arrangement. The only thing I wish I had done was have the Bells of Ireland, the green right side, arc stick out a little bit further. I kind of brought it in a little too close, so um, think about that as you go. Here comes a close-up. We've got our stock, and then Hypericum are those green berries, the mini carnations, the Sparingary, that textural, and the Salal, those big broad leaves, and there is our Bells of Ireland.